In this lesson, we're going to explore a couple of printing tips that will help you in a couple of scenarios I've come across on a regular basis in my travels. One is printing offline. Let's say you're traveling, maybe you're up in an airplane, and you've got a document or series of documents that need to be printed. Of course, you're not connected. How are you going to remember when you get back to the office or back home and connect to your printer to send those off to your printer? Well, the trick is to print offline. The other scenario we're going to explore is how to print in pure black and white. I've seen it happen so many times. Maybe you're printing to a printer that has two cartridges, a color cartridge and a black cartridge. And even though you're selecting black and white, it's trying to use the color cartridge. The color cartridge is running out of ink and you're getting a faded and blurry looking picture. So we're going to explore pure black and white printing as well as printing offline. Let's go to that first scenario. We're up in an airplane. We've got a document that we need to print. We're not connected, but we don't want to forget when we get back and are connected to our printer to print it out. Well, to do that, we change our printer status to offline. So here I am in devices and printers right from my Windows Start button or Windows Orb. And you can choose any link you like to get to the queue. I'm going to choose see what's printing with a double click. Nothing's printing, of course, but here's where I go. Click the printer menu to choose use printer offline. So I can use the printer as if I'm connected even though I'm not. So we'll leave the queue open here and we'll go to print a file. Now if you've got the exercise files you can follow along with me in the 0903 subfolder of chapter 9 and with the veggie stir fry document selected click print. So off it goes to the default printer. We see it now in the queue and we switch over. Look at the status. There's nothing there. When we get back to the office or back home and plug into our printer and set this back online, so let's say that's happened now, fast forward, we click printer, turn off the printer offline feature by selecting it again. You can see it's printing, off it goes to the printer, and I'm done. I didn't forget that I had to print that when I got back. We'll close up the queue. All right, now we're going to talk about printing in pure black and white. Now, this will only apply to you if you're using an inkjet type printer that uses a color cartridge and a black cartridge. And it means selecting the printer's properties. So we're going to close up Windows Explorer. And here where it says adjust print options, you'll notice down below that includes changing color, layout, and paper settings. Color is exactly what we want. So I'm going to double click adjust printer options. And that's going to take me to this screen where I do have a color tab. Now I want to print in pure black and white. So if I choose print in grayscale, I've got two options. Here's where most people stop. They click OK. High quality is exactly what they want. There's the preview. They click OK and off it goes. And even though we're not using the color cartridge per our selections here, the printer may try to use the color to create a high quality grayscale and the print job comes out looking a little bit shoddy. So the best option is to choose black print cartridge only. Now all printers are different so if you don't have an HP printer your options may be hidden somewhere else under the color section. But there should be an option to only use that black print cartridge. Once you've got that selected you can click OK. So with that selected now anything we print is going to print in pure black and white only using the ink from the black cartridge. When we're done with all of our settings we can close up our control panel and there's a couple of tips that will help you in two very popular scenarios when it comes to printing.